and who we discovered. So this is this is the I Am Collective call, March 7th, 2023. We are well met. Thank you. Continue. So I came across something that I hadn't come across before. I was working with someone who continually am pulling things off of. And I was told that this is called bleed through. And I'm like, what is bleed through? And for this individual, part of their contract, believe it or not, was to sort of be a clearinghouse for things that were attaching to other aspects of self and other dimensions, other densities. And I had never heard of such a thing. But I think what's really amazing right now, like the, the numbers that Gina uses, five kabajillion <laughs> quadrupillion, you know what I mean? Like these numbers are huge. So it makes sense to me that if we're able to clear so much so efficiently that we could be um, of assistance to other aspects of self and other dimensions that way. Mm. I actually have a client who same she she part of her soul contract because she has um she's operating very powerfully on many dimensions some of you know her so i want to use her name although she probably wouldn't care but just in case um there's so much going on and those versions of her cannot engage with emotion because of their mission and work um or they can't to the extent that um they normally would she consented to be the clearinghouse but that meant she was crying all the time and you know in this emotional roller coaster states so what I was guided to do was to go into the void and create an emotion reservoir. So it's like this, Ooh. that membrane is sack. And there are lines to and from the reservoir to all of her aspects. <clears throat> so with their free will, they can like turn a valve and send their emotions to the reservoir. Uh, they can also mm -hmm. turn a valve and choose to feel emotions if they want to, if it's correct for them. Um, and so it goes to that reservoir, not her. So when she's feeling these huge emotions, she opens her valve and sends it all up and then is able to go and have a happy, functional, joyful day. That sounds like wow. something I did recently. Yeah. Um, I have an aspect of me, angry girl, whose purpose is to take all the anger for all the aspects of me, because me and my in this life, I'm, it takes a lot to piss me off. I don't really ever get angry, but I didn't want angry girl to live. I thought, well, is that really her purpose? She shouldn't be so angry. Maybe there's something more to her life. And so I, I built that same like kind of semi-permeable bubble for her to put the anger in so she doesn't have to hold it, but she's still doing her job of taking the anger from all the aspects of me. And if I find a time where it's you know, righteous and I need to be angry, I can go to the bubble and grab it if I need it. So mm. it's interesting that we came up with that same idea, or maybe we're working with the same person. <laughs> mm, it sounds different, but it's interesting okay. that you're guided to do but, but the same the same idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not sure if I'm that way, um like I've done a lot of especially psychic healing work with different people. Um, since my walk-in and um, I do, I used to work with a, a walk-in psychic healer a lot more often. Um, and every time she would find more and more attachments to me. Um, I don't think there are so many these days because I've done a lot of healing and strengthening of my energy, but um, I think it's also just because I'm such an empath that um, I'm sensitive to other energies that I'm exposed to, especially on people. Um and other beings might attach to me. Um, but it is what it is. And so that used to go on more. Well, that's good news. Yeah. I think even if a person is um, contracted to be like that, I suspect that it's possible for them to learn not to by lots of deep energy clearing and strengthening. And there's something too about free will and your sovereignty. So it feels like um, there can be some shift around um, choosing to allow it, having that be an active choice as opposed to um, a passive occurrence, you know, when you're out in public or whatever. Now I'm in healer mode. 
I'll work with these energies. Now I'm closed for business. These are not my business hours. And the, the container or whatever you create for yourself is complete and no other energies are allowed in. Um, okay. It reminds me of my, my three-step clearing of sending back, calling in, and then affirming mm -hmm. your aloneness in your power. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As an act of I literally visualize like the off sign or closed <laughs> sign. <laughs> mm -hmm. Closed. <laughs> Yeah. Right. it's really important to do that before bed too it's yeah. super important to do that before bed mm -hmm. um so i would like to kind of give us uh shift us now if that's okay um <clears throat> so a couple of things um so a couple of weeks ago it ended up just being gina and cynthia and myself on the call and Gina presented something to me about this call because when we first this first this call first got created it was more about like working it was a working call for sure a working call and and it became over time more like conversational and and sometimes the the whole call got was conversation and there wasn't much uh work happening so um I was really grateful. I am really grateful. And I said so that that you approached me about this, that you spoke to me about this because I had been feeling this. Um, and Shannon originally called us together and then it became my baby. And so I, I do still feel like it's important to have a space where people that are um, experiencing these things, that are seeing these things, that are feeling these things and think they're alone in it have a, I've just got like truth bumps, has a, have a space to go, but I don't feel like that's this call. This call is for people who are like already in the work, they're in their power, they're, they're like doing it. And the, it's an, uh, again, who I'm covered is mm -hmm. like an opportunity to come together and collaborate and combine our, our abilities and capacities to do the work. So and that will be the shift moving forward of this call is that every call is a working call. Um, and uh, and Gina and Cynthia actually came up with a, a mission statement. <laughs> that call, I think I was driving back from LA and I was I kept losing connectivity. <clears throat> and so uh, they ended up drafting it. Um, Gina sent it to me. I gave her a little bit of feedback, but it's, it's pretty perfect as it is. <laughs> um, and uh, uh, so, so yeah, so just wanted to clarify that and, you know, thank you for uh, Cynthia and Gina for your, mm -hmm. you know, your contribution. It's, that was my experience was that I was kind of doing it all and, and it feels so good and so juicy in my heart to be like playing with you in this now. Mm -hmm. um, and you were always participating, but it was like, yes, now we're doing this together, right? Like, as opposed to my experience of, like I'm doing this and, and everybody's showing up when they can and that kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I took a, 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 a self-care day yesterday. So last week, last Wednesday, I got a, um, my very first received my very first QHHT session. Um, mm -hmm. She's amazing. She's a friend of Sandy's. They used to be like Girl Scout troop parents <laughs> together or something like that <laughs> she's here in washington she's incredible and um so in two weeks i'll be giving her a qhht session so i found a couple of local people to to practice together um and uh so a couple of the through line messages of that qhht was in receiving the two lifetimes that i was taken to there was like control right so it was it was like I wasn't allowed to fully express myself I wasn't allowed to fully be me other people controlled what I could and couldn't do um and there was something about like the voice being heard so that to me is really uh prevalent for now in these ways where I'm like 
I'm having my voice be heard more and areas where I'm like a little hesitant to have this voice that is this <laughs> being, you know, that is this multidimensional being like, yeah, you know, um, and that's expression is happening more and more, but, um, but there was a lot about receiving and there was a lot about self-care, which is what I'm wanting to bring to the group is <clears throat> that for so, and this is not new, like self-care has been coming up a lot in the last like six or eight months of we're doing so much for others. We need to make sure we're replenishing the well. We need to make sure that we are um, connecting for ourselves because we connect when we're, when we're helping clients, but we need to make sure we are connecting for ourselves with ourselves and our team and source energy on a daily basis. And then <clears throat> um well may i offer this yeah you can say as i speak these words for you i speak them for myself as well and then any healing that's taking place you should be benefiting from as well yes and that's and i and i know that like when i'm doing readings for people i know the words that are coming out of my mouth for them are also for me or they wouldn't be coming out of my mouth and <clears throat> this is Th that is an, an important part. And it is like, they were very specific of like, you intend for you <laughs> and just you. And <clears throat> um, may so I make a suggestion that, then? Sure. Can we simply, once we're all connected, can we simply um, send out to all light workers, all of those who connect with higher self? Um, the receiving of the source light that creates space and abundance, the commitment and uh, ability to be able to, to take care of yourself. Roll it all up in there. Absolutely. And that still is not, <laughs> it's, and, and yes, we can do that. And it's, it is about like this vessel that vessel, that vessel, that vessel, that vessel connecting directly for you, the, the like loop of that. So I'm just telling you what I, what I was told. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to, I'm going to hop here to what uh, Amy Biondini said um, this morning. Um, and this is where I think I, it, it feels like our, our work is today. Um, she said, good morning. I got a download that I think is for you guys. And it for sure was for us. <laughs> Thank you for that confirmation. <laughs> um, I was shown the moon and saw many thousands of years of prayer, hopes, promises, and dreams trapped in a type of web. The energy of the humanity's prayers to the moon has been trapped and funneled by whatever dark group created the dark satellite we call the moon. And then she said in parentheses, that's a whole other thing, but my guides told me it was designed to use the masculine energy of the sun to suppress the feminine energy of the earth. And that the true masculine slash feminine union is between the sun and the earth, not the sun and the moon. I then got a flash image of the energy being funneled into a dark throne off planet that in turn connects the chair matrix. There's a grid on earth and also an off world one too. It's not a coincidence that today's call is on the full moon. Oh, that today's call is on the full moon in Virgo. I thought it was the full moon in Pisces, but I could be wrong about that. So then I woke up this morning thinking about this moon tonight. <laughs> I was like, there's, there's something about the energy of this moon that has been like coming in of um, this type of moon particularly hasn't happened in, I don't know how, the time frame, but it had been a while since this type of moon has occurred. So um especially because Amy is so connected to the whole uh, chair <laughs> matrix um, that it felt like it was like that was really on point for today. So I'm 
I'm open to whatever you guys think or feel about that. Um, I'm not even sure how, what we would do, but I guess we would. Um... So I'll I can pull in the intergalactics that can hold the grid. They're telling me one through five. Um, so when they hold the grid, um, we can do frequency match discovery. If we can find one source of the technology, and I believe we already have, um, then we can frequency match it. They basically send out in through the grid looking for frequency matches for the technology. Once isolated, the technology has to be cleared. We have to explore the issue of free will the reintegration of any essences that may have been pulled off, but it can be done. Yeah. So what are the thoughts about the, the, the web that this, that these, like, I, that's what I was thinking was like, the it's not so, you know, re remembering that we're shown things that are symbolic so that we can get concepts very easily. Mm, yeah. Really, to simplify it, it is consciousness being funneled through a satellite that then is relayed to another location. And it's all energy. It's yeah. all, yeah. Do Can you, who, who created the satellite? So there's, um, so this is old reptilian technology and it's been used throughout not just our galaxy it's been used throughout the um the universe for like for millions of years literally so what i i suppose we're primarily concerned about what's happening in this galaxy as a whole okay so there's um i'm being told there's a star it is named thuban um, you may call it the dark star, and it seems as though this energy is being uh, funneled directly to the dark star, and I'm getting hits all over the place on that, so there we go. So at least now we know what our targets are, yeah? Mm -hmm. So what might the repercussions be for cutting off the supply? <clears throat> mm. That's a good question. <clears throat> I can tell you what we've done in the past. Um, so what we've done in the past is sort of replace the technology with a hologram because <laughs> they could do that. Um, and by the way, um, that's their 18D. They're from 18D, the Cedars. So the, the other aspect of it is to avoid the unintended consequences. So let me check and see for this. Okay, so um, after holograms are, are put in place, uh, the frequency, the frequency, they do a frequency modulation and they do something that sort of fakes them out. So it's like um, if you were to go fill your tank of gas, it would show that you have a full tank, but you only pumped 10 gallons. So what they're saying is, is that it is a, it can be systematically turned down and they're using the words like boiling a frog. I'm also hearing placebo. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's the whole hologram idea. Right. Yeah. That's what I got, guys. And if you all just want to throw in. I have more questions. <laughs> Always. Okay. Um, if I get something. So this is happening clearly for Earth. It's happening for other planets. Yeah. Can is it in the highest good of all, 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 to put this into effect for all planets and dimensions? Um. Will that interfere with their free will? Well, I got it. Is I mean, it, it is entirely possible. <clears throat> But so, all right. So this is how, when we've done stuff universe-wide before in the grid, this is how, how I watch it be done. Basically what they do 
is they pull in from 15D. Gosh, guys, sorry, I'm getting hits all over the place. They pull in from 15D and specifically from the angelic realm. Um, not necessarily entirely an aspect of self, but the, the, the 15D angelic realm has a connection to every sentient being in the universe in some way, almost like, mo like a monad. Um, so they pull them in and do by proxy as stand-ins and make the offer simply just say, if this is in the highest and best interest, of the individual that's being affected by this by proxy, do, do you consent? And so we literally have thousands and thousands of <laughs> angels that show up. So that's how the universal clearings are done. But I, I would really like to get some feedback before we go in. So I'm getting that there are light workers on these other places, off planet mm -hmm. places that um, we can like network with. Mm -hmm. now energetically <clears throat> um and so they can decide whether or not to take part according to the highest good of the beings in their on their planet yes that yes, makes sense to me i'm getting that too i've been just like nodding like a fool here the whole time <laughs> <laughs> so so part of what i was getting was that our focus is on this planet. And then we're inviting others to, while this is happening, like the same way that we often, when we when we go there is like any other light workers, energy workers, healers that are doing this wherever you are, if you're wanting to join with us, come be with us now. Like that kind of thing, like an invitation, like Cynthia was saying, and like you were saying, Gina as well. So that feels, that feels right. Perfect. Okay. Maybe <laughs> Gina can let us in. You're the best at it, Gina. I'm sorry if you oh, feel you're like right? you're getting kicked down, but you're the best at it. Thank you. Um, okay. So let's get to work. Oh, I'm sorry. I just wanted to say one thing before you do that. So at Conscious Life Expo, I went to this booth, which had all this like sacred geometry and his name is Buddha Mistreya, something like that. Like he's, um, mm -hmm. So do you know who I'm talking about, Gina? Mm -hmm. I think so, yeah. So he's known as the Little Buddha. Like that movie was made about him. And so I won <laughs> this, which is called an etheric weaver. Um, and it supposedly has his energy in it and all of that. So um, this is my first time using it. I had it last week, but I didn't bring it up here. And it's got sacred geometry on it. And there's a lot of like, so... Um, as C fit, this is also we also have him and his energy and all that is involved in that in this as well. I'm also guided to have my mold white in one hand and my um, dragon pearl in the other, and then I have this plasma that is LST thirteen point five eight, and that in some way assists with. Um, these bigger higher frequency multi-dimensional dimension and, and universe spanning you call that lsd what'd you call that no. <laughs> LSD. T. not d i heard lsd <laughs> i heard no i heard lst i'm just joking i got mine baby. but i would really love if you could post that what that what that is put it on the group yeah it's it's a company called anu alchemy they also do the best ormus on the market um and then all kinds of um plasmas and i can't remember what the other one is but like essences of grasshopper deer birch like all kinds of stuff um, for different uses so one could go and i have several of their plasmas um but this is the one for today cool it's not time yet so let's get centered first and I absolutely agree with the, the sun and earth, masculine and feminine. That's exactly what we're going to be doing now. So long, slow inhale, placing awareness in the, the heart center. And exhale all that does not belong in the energy field. 
Again, placing awareness in the heart center. Long, slow inhale in, affirming and setting the attention, intention that we, our work is heart centered today. And long, slow exhale again, releasing all that does not serve from the entire energetic field of this incarnation. Long, slow inhale now into the root, reminding ourselves that we are so safe and supported. And exhale, all that does not serve. And either breathe deep or return to natural breath as you're guided. Dropping down now uh, from the root chakra down through the floor, through the top layers of the soil into your earth star chakra. In the center of the earth star chakra, feeling and hearing that Schumann resonance, that deep vibration of the earth. Continuing to drop out of the earth star chakra down through all layers and levels of our physical and energetic planet directly to the core of Mama Gaia, the heart of Mama Gaia. We see, I see it as a massive clear quartz crystal with spires the size of Empire State Building. And we go to a place where it's smooth and flat. We lay with our arms outstretched on Mama Gaia's surface, cheek against her surface, and then sink deeply into the very core of her heart, so warm and in, encased, encapsulated in her loving Mama energy. We love you, Mama Gaia. We love you. And we set the intention that our work today also supports your highest good and your evolutionary journey. So then the cliches of that. <clears throat> And we lift up out of that crystal, bringing with us, fully charged with Mama Gaia, divine feminine energy, up through all layers and levels of the planet, back into that Earth Star Chakra, which is now infused, grows in size, light, dimension, so powerful, powerfully vibrating, and up through the layers and levels of the Earth, bringing that energy with us into the body. The body warms gently and slightly, like a boulder being warmed by the sun. Lifting now up out of the body, into the air above the body, right to the soul star chakra. And inside the soul star chakra, we're fully encased in our connection to our divine self. In this space, I hear wind chimes. And there's an iridescent sparkle. And lifting up now out of the earth star chakra, through the sky, the atmosphere, and through all the space, quickly to Papa Sol, to the sun, at the center of our galaxy. And diving down through all layers and levels of Papa Sol to the very center. I see that as a beautiful citrine, massive sparkling citrine. And we again lay against our loving Papa Sol and sink into the center of that citrine fully infused with masculine energy now, now perfectly in balance with masculine and feminine, ready to take on our mission and flow forward with assertiveness, confidence, and in full guidance. Coming now out of the citrine center through the layers and levels of the sun back to our soul star chakra, and again, sinking into the center of that is infused with Papa Soul energy, becoming massive, powerful, fully charged. And now we sink back down into the body. From the Earth Star and Soul Star Chakra, we call in Source Light, and double arches emerge from both chakras to meet in the center around it and rotate to create a healing space of pure white light. We call in Source Star, our protector, warrior energy, wise warrior, double arches surrounding the source light and rotating to connect, creating a perfect container of safety and security in all that we do. And we call in source unity, golden energy, double arches that come and meet in the center and rotate again to create a sparkling golden container of unity and connectedness. And now we flood the interior of this space with source white energy, healer energy. We are now in healer mode. Our vibrations are now in perfect alignment with the mission that we have been blessed with today. And 
from this golden energy of unity, all of our container spaces are now connected one with another with all other light workers incarnate now on this planet and all planets that choose to take part in this work, all planets that have been affected by this energy and this pattern, any light workers that are incarnate in those places now activate and connect through our golden unity energy. And we are ready for work. I am complete. <clears throat> Okay, perfect. Just so that you know, as you was you were doing that, I called in um, uh, the cedars, the intergalactics, uh, to hold the grid one through five, and your message was sent out along that grid throughout the universe. So I see like bing, 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 like lights going off. Exactly. Do you see the same thing? I do. Mm -hmm. I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and and with that, um, okay, so I'm seeing um, the B A format. I don't like to say its name out loud, and I am deep in the Vatican. Mm. Okay, this is interesting. For those of you who have been there in the middle of the of the um, St. Peter's Basilica, there is a, a closed off private prayer area and tomb. Like in front of it in glass is a dead Pope that looks like he's a wax figure. I only mention this because if you go down there, down these stairs, past the altar, there is a secret entrance. I'm seeing this go further down, further down. I'm seeing this access um, a room. I've got a pentagram um, in beautiful marble tile on the floor. God. Um, I shouldn't laugh, but I mean, if you've been to the Vatican, you know everything. Every little inch of that place is decorated. Okay, hold on. This seems to be the anchor point in 3D for this technology. It's the, specifically this location. Yes, yes. So we're doing a lock-on. They're doing a lock-on. Okay, very interesting. I have some galactics coming through. Okay, just so that you all know, what I'm being told is that the Earth is sort of in a group with a total of 12 planets that are ascending together. And they're going to do this in two sort of blasts. One is going to be with the 12 ascension planets that are going together. And then there are four other groupings by... Um, I guess like uh, frequency matches of the individual planets. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Anybody see anything, hear anything right now? If you'd like to step forward. So I'm, to you guys. I'm, I'm guided to, so I pulled this out. So I have my crystal ball here um, on my desk and in the past it has represented earth. Um, and it is also liquid crystal. I've had it for almost 40 years. Um, so it represents li liquid crystal that has been waiting for me to be ready to use it in that way. Um, <clears throat> and I was spinning this etheric weaver <laughs> over it and it became the moon and then just now, so it was like almost like whipping up the energy. I, I don't quite, that's the best way I can describe it is like, it was creating like a, like a, like a whirlwind, like a funnel. And then, um, and then I was just uh, guided like this action. Like I was almost like, like I was pulling off loose strings or something. Like I was pulling off like how you, how you do like um herbs off of, on a vine or something like that is what i'm being kind of shown 
I don't know what that means. And then when you were taking us in, um, I still have the the earth and the sun um, tuning mm -hmm. forks. And so I've added those frequencies as well. They are present and will be continuing to amplify those as needed uh, during this call and complete. Okay, um, unless anything, anybody has anything else to add? I've been told that the first thing they, they um, we, since we have the location, they have the frequency match, this is being broadcast out. They've located, <laughs> they've located these in, in other locations. So, to th so the first thing that's going to happen is since they're located, Gina, I'm being asked to have you step in specifically. And the, the intent is that any person who has been affected by this technology, particularly against free will, that any of the emotional pain or suffering as a result to fract further fractalization against will, um, the uh, siphoning of particular energy, that this be cleared. So I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you to take it from here, Gina. And they're duplicating this also in the four other grids that they're holding for the other ascension planets as well. I'm gonna address this. Um in my restorative ascension way by finding the, the compounds. So I can be Beautiful. doing that um, on my own while we continue with other work. Okay, very good. Um, okay, perfect. Mm. Okay, so everyone, I want you to um, to focus on, on the violet flame. Mm -hmm. We're going to flush the grid initially with the light of uh, compassion and mercy. Okay, so I'm seeing um, holograms being made, but I'm also seeing the technology is being um, deactivated by a process called magnetic mag magnetic reversal i have something called uh, the bronzium the bronzium flame coming in and basically it it will serve to melt all of the metal that's in here We have a, um, a gridding off, like a doming off of a central. Ooh. Okay, so they're basically, they've put, um, they've completely encapsulated the dark sun in what looks like its own little grid. The um, relay of energies is being disrupted and replaced with a, a a new frequency ray band that through time will eventually be adjusted down to nothing and allow the um, Galactic Federation and the Cedars to address these issues as needed. And I'm literally seeing a light go <laughs> The data packets are being sent. Okay. All right. Cynthia. Yeah. <laughs> Since Gina started her meditation in the beginning, like right when I closed my eyes, I connected with um, an aspect of me, which is both a past life aspect and parallel present life in an alien body. And <clears throat> kind of like travels the universe doing the healings that are needed. And so I didn't understand where he was at first, except around a lot of large clear crystals 
another planet. And so I have a crystal cluster next to me that he told I could um, connect with between us. Anyway, he's been a part of this. We've just been holding space basically with Reiki and other beings around us. And he explained to me during your process that he's actually on one of the 12 planets that is ascending right now. And um, and he showed me a bunch of other beings that came in that were like a, a grid. He also said something like magnetic, but they were like a group that were working together to help with the holding of the space of this process. Beautiful. Do you have a name? Can um, you get a name? Of this part of me? Yeah, of that aspect. Hmm. This is the first time I've actually gotten the name of that part of me, but something like Wometry. Okay. If that's correct. Um, there's a second wave that's being sent. This is interesting. It's almost like in a sideways ribbon that has sort of deep troughs in its design. I have three primary colors, red, green, and black. That's weird. That's like RGB, right? Interesting. Susan, do you want to join me with the energy clearing, the emotional clearing? What, um, do, you, what do you want me to do? So, um, I'm doing, <clears throat> so any, any, however you're doing emotion code or any other energetic clearing these days, um, I'm connected to all those, um, as Cindy said, who um have emotional burden from the experience of this interference okay I'm doing it for everyone incarnate now in this dimension everyone incarnate now across all dimensions everyone previously incarnate who is not incarnate now and then everyone previously incarnate not incarnate now across all dimensions that's how I'm doing it. However you feel called to do it is perfect. I've never and done then, this before, so I'll I'll follow your lead. Um, I work with my pendulum and as it's spinning, I just know that it's in process. So all the stuff that you just said, I'm getting a yes for. Perfect. So I'll just uh, hold the intention that, you know, as, if, as I visualize the emotion code chart, let's say all of the boxes clearing simultaneously. Perfect. Ease and grace. Perfect. Okay. And then guys, I have an offer for you from the intergalactics. Um, they have a way to augment your, what you're doing right now with your permission. So basically imagine that there's this beautiful white leather chair that you can lean easily into. And on the right side of it is a palm sized um, crystal. In this case, it's milky white. So with your permission, um, the light within you that facilitates the ceiling will be augmented now. So part of what I've been getting is as soon as you invited in the ultraviolet fire light, um, I was guided to go grab my wand that I use for harnessing and directing ultraviolet light, and it was like a, like I was hosing <laughs> everything, <laughs> and then it became more like I was pressure washing, like within the 
the veins and capillaries of the grid that it was cleansing, clearing, um, purifying, purifying is a word, purifying, um, pure radiant ultraviolet light without, throughout, within. <clears throat> and then it was brought to my awareness that uh, most people, including myself, um, cleanse, quote unquote, cleanse their crystals by the moon and charge them by the moon. And so crystals are being um, impacted, infiltrated with this uh, false energy when people are uh, thinking that they're um, clearing it, they're actually um, filling it. So we are going to declare with the work that we are doing today and the clearing that we are doing around this uh this moon and this layer around the moon and the um uh dense intentions uh around the moon that uh that all crystals <laughs> all crystals that have been uh charged by this energy are now clear of that energy of that false energy and are being infused by the energy uh, and clearing that we are creating today, um, that they are fortified, that they are um, uh, touching my heart, like like they they carry pure love, um, unity, unconditional love, connection, power, grace. Mm. Okay, beautiful. So, guys, I have a message from um, Commander Single Tree, the Intergalactics. He's, he told me that this technology, quote unquote, is an abomination and explained that it was original created to do exactly the opposite. This technology was originally created as a healing device mm -hmm. to bring energy in to the manifested form, not take it away. I think that's a fascinating just like my client this morning. Yeah. Interesting. And perhaps there's something there about that magnetic reversal, where if the poles of the magnet are reversed, then it can be doing its job properly. Yeah, it's like they com completely rewired it or something mm -hmm. <laughs> to the opposite. So that's so good not, to know, guys. And it's not repairable, and re not, we can't return it to its originally intended state. The, the technology and where it's located is still under regressive control. Mm. I mean, I shouldn't say that. The galactics and intergalactics all use the, this basic technology. It's just that the service to self regressives have made um, a modification, mm. a very successful modification. There's a concentration at the, like the underbelly of it <laughs> is what I'm feeling is like, wow. Like my hand is super hot right now. I'm getting clear audio augmenting now, augmenting now. Um, so more energy is being run through our individual consciousnesses. You may perceive this as diamond white. On something of a side note, can you ask the Galactics if this augmentation with the white chair and the milky white stone is something that's available to us now going forward or is it specific for this mission? You know, it's not that. It's um, it's being able to connect with the cedars in general. Mm -hmm. That's when you get to do it. And I don't know why. So this is what I know, guys. I know that I'm just one of a little over a hundred people on the planet that was contacted in this manner. And when I was contacted, I didn't sleep for two days. The frequency modulation download process that I went through was really intense. So um, it is always available to anyone who has the, the frequency to connect, which if you would like to, I'm sure you know, I'm sure that Commander Singletree and, and the uh, 
Cedars would love to do that, but I don't know. Let me give you an example. Like I had a really rough time because where I dropped in from 3D was from nine, but like people who drop in from higher realms don't have that issue. Mm. But I had a bit of a rough go of it, but you can ask if you would like that, I would be more than happy to broker it. That milky crystal to me is milky quartz or snow quartz, which is the crystals that I get from the shores here in Washington and I give away. Uh, oh, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> that are you cool. just, just out of curiosity, are you feeling any of this energetic augmentation? I'm in such a uh, state right now. The energy is so open, expansive. I'm not certain if it's. See, so you dropped in, you, you easily dropped in from a higher D than I did. Cause I feel it more mm -hmm. than others, I suppose. And what do you experience when you feel it? I usually feel it in my body. And it's interesting when we're working together, they do this sort of signal where when we're done i get a clearing of the chest and then a clearing up into the head and then a, like a buzzy feeling at the top of my head so they're they give me body clues as to when it's finished i feel just a lot of high vibe in the body a, a lot of pressure in the top of the head and the bindu chakra at the top back of the head but the energy is just really open and expansive now for me that's awesome. Susan, are you feeling anything? I'm just curious. Uh, I have a, a little bit of lightheadedness that's come on since I've been sitting here, but this is also new to me that I, maybe there's something else I'm feeling that I'm missing that I'm not familiar with. No, it's all subtle. good. <laughs> it's all good. Well, I'm just going to leave it to anybody who is on this call that would like to be connected with the Cedars. Um, simply ask and um, he's showing me mapping you'll get the message and you'll have the experience if it's right for you and you're willing. I'm telling you the healing that we can do with them is phenomenal. It's okay. right now. I'm just feeling a sense of oneness. Um, last night I was called to put on this um, little clear quartz sphere. I don't know if it's visible, but it's imprinted by Einstein, the crystal skull. It was a gift to me many years ago. And um, I tuned into Facebook last night and Carolyn Ford, the guardian of Einstein, the crystal skull right now, shared a picture of Einstein on a, um, like a headrest. And it was full of little, these little clear quartz crystals that he was imprinting. That's what he does. He sits on and with a lot of other crystals that's just what he does and so yeah a sense of oneness he's all about oneness can you check in with your um syrian aspect on the, the ascension planet um yeah he's not necessarily syrian but yeah oh he's not okay i wasn't sure Something else, something more galactic. I did two compounds, um, each of them over six pentillion. Is that a real number? Did you make that up, girl? It's a real number. I had to look it up. It comes after quadrillion. Um, so the total is 12 points pentillion out of those two compounds. Quintillion? Pentillion. 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 Five, yeah. Damn. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Having the numbers is fun for me. I like that. So um I don't I don't always feel energy and I inner inside. <laughs> and um Part of what I was just getting was that, that I still have, I thought I had cleared quite a bit of them in my QHHT session, but that I still have some energetic blocks. 
And I think it's important that we end this call the way that we mentioned Cynthia and Troy of like clearing parasites, whatever else like implants. I'm getting, I'm hearing implants, like, like a lot of us are dealing with that <clears throat> of the, and especially like Morgellons and all of that, like what, uh, that's, it's now, it's now starting to be revealed that we have these things. So I'd like it cleared. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Well, we are almost done. The energy's yes. up here. Mm -hmm. My wow. Um, okay. Cynthia, in response to your question, my galactic aspect turned in it. It feels like the moon process that we did is finished for now. And what he was recommending for our group as light workers is um as we close this and come back to ourselves. Um, she was speaking to our more physical dense energy body and also the others that are more etheric above us um, but to especially focus on the hearts of our energy bodies the back side too recognizing all of it allowing as we've sent energy to also receive the appropriate energy for us that we will for our highest good and self-care too good then we'll send him some while we're at it too <laughs> <clears throat> okay so this is the final step you guys huh so this is almost like filling in a void. This is a final blast of light. Whoa. Okay, so guys, this is a, um, it's, I refer to it as the golden galactic light. And it's a, the quality of this is very, very light. It's very light. It would feel like if, the gold were water, it would feel like mist. I'm being told that it carries the properties of all 12 rays. Okay. Coming through now. Wow. There's a, uh, I'm, I'm getting a release of um, some darkness that is being transmuted to be returned to sources. A lot of it. A very tarry, sticky. Okay, we are complete with this. I want to thank the Galactics and Intergalactics and offer to shut down our channels of communication now. Okay, anything you guys want to do next? Or anyone else want to lead your clearings, request for energetic assistance? And so I, I have the 15D angelic realm stepping forward for all of us on this call. I request assistance and give my consent. 
For what? For the I wasn't done. <laughs> Stuff. <laughs> Stuff. <laughs> so for the uh 15d angelic realm first of all thank you thank you for your presence for your partnership for your collaboration for your um for this healing for myself and others and i'm asking that you uh scan do a body scan of myself everyone on this call and our uh, collective community for any mm, uh, implants, lower density vibration, uh, illnesses that are not illnesses, that are messages our body is trying to communicate to us that there is foreign objects, please help remove and assist and remove any foreign objects that are within our physical vessel that are not serving highest purpose, highest timeline, highest intention, uh, and that are ready to be removed. I ask your assistance in doing this now. Thank you. Okay, so we have some energy vortexes being opened over everybody on this call above your head. And imagine that it is filled with the violet flame. So uh, we have three dragons that are coming forward. Um, one is iridescent. The other is multicolored as well. And the third is purple. That's mine. <laughs> our, this is Lily, Zaneda, and Xavier. And we're asking for each of our bodies, our astral etheric, causal, mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual, all to be scanned and cleansed. We ask that any energy that we've picked up that is not ours, that does not serve us, to be transmuted and returned to the light. We ask for a flushing of our energetic systems our lymphatic systems, all of our organs, our blood, our bones. And we ask for the cleansing Christ of the light of self-healing to be evident at the cellular level and express itself through us and as us. Tina, do you want to add? If you feel called, repeat after me out loud or in your mind's voice. I affirm, I affirm, I affirm that I'm alone in my power. That I'm alone in my power. With only my team and spirit. With only, only my team and spirit. Spirit. In my energy field. In my in my energy field. With love and gratitude. Love. With love and gratitude. For divine sovereignty. And the gift of free will. If it is um, in your highest good, set the intention that this container that we created stays in place. Or if it's in your highest good to allow it to withdraw and dissipate, allow that process to occur. Oh. And so it is. And so it is. So it is. Okay. So with that, um, we close our connections and give gratitude for all of the beautiful assistance, multidimensionally and interdimensionally, that we receive in knowledge that we are on mission and service to the divine plan. Thank you to everyone. Mm. I'm complete. Back fives all around. Hey, hey, <laughs> we got a penta number that I don't remember how big it was. <laughs> Thank you for having me today. So yeah, happy to join you here. Right, Susan. My mind is bad. 100 kajillion, billion, pentillion, whatever 
fucked up number I could say. Loan. <laughs> Loan. Okay. Can I, say, can I say that word here? The F word? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh if you can do it, you can say it. Okay. Just say it. <laughs> <laughs> I know I can say it Gina. That is that is the beauty of this space as well. There's no censorship. <laughs> None. Because <All right. laughs> yeah. some of the stuff that comes out of our mouth, we're like, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, thank you for allowing me to be a part of this. This was fantastic. I, I don't know what my schedule is going to look like moving forward, but I know I can hop on here mm -hmm. as I continue to learn and grow. And I am filled with so much gratitude for all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Equalmente. Mm -hmm. So proud of you for joining. Mm. Thank you, Susan. Okay. All right. Thanks, everyone. Beautiful work. Yeah. All right. Well, have a wonderful now, afternoon. With, with this recording, do you guys, do you send it on or to all of us, or do you save it somewhere? Or? Um, so it gets it gets uh, saved and posted on the Cosmic Playground page, which is my Facebook page, and J and S Tours, which is Sandy's page. <laughs> There used to be a page for uh, this group, but I haven't been able to find it. Like, I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> like, I went to look for it yesterday and it wasn't there. I was like, did it just get deleted? Like, I lost my group. So Gina, are you sending me an invite or something? Yeah. On it. Okay. Okay. So, um, and, it, and it, it gets posted on my, on my YouTube channel, which is the main thing. And so. so I'll get all the, I'll get all the info from her. Okay, perfect. Gotcha. All right. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Blessed be. Thank you. Blessed Bye, everybody. be. Thank you all. Bye. Thank you all. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs>